plane myself. Uh, 150 passengers to follow this lady. That's the precautions. And I have a special exit here. They know I came from Shanghai. She's the special doctor that's looking after me. And I'm being separated <laughs> from uh, the entire flight. There's the entire flight there. Getting off the plane and here's me. Thank you. So that was quite the experience. A bit tired. Uh, but I was at the back of the airplane and uh, they wanted to separate me from all the passengers because I still have seven days of quarantine. And I'm here alone. Well, with the health professionals that will be taking me to continue my quarantine. And they're even separating my bags so I can give her a hand. Uh, the other one is a uh, red yes. bag. Red bag. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm currently now going to the disease prevention to fill in some documents and then head to my hotel for seven more days of quarantine. It was actually a nice treatment. I was on a full plane and uh, told to leave first <laughs> from 57 rows back. So now I'm still with the disease and prevention and they're taking me in probably for a COVID test. This is how you prevent COVID in your country. Okay, everybody. So I just was at the Foreign Affairs and signed out with all these wonderful gentlemen that helped me here. Um, we had to fill in a lot of documentation. Uh, did I have tests in Shanghai? Did I um, <laughs> pass them? Have I done my quarantine? Um, so on and so forth. Now they've uh, put me together in a WeChat group and the people at the hotel are waiting for me. So we're gonna hopefully do my last seven days here in Chongqing. These guys have been amazing. The healthcare professionals are very strict, very thorough, but that's how you get a country with zero COVID. So they asked me basic questions like, uh, how long are you staying? What's your purpose? Uh, you know, the usual stuff. It's been kind of royal treatment, to be honest. The last time I was in Chongqing, it wasn't like this approach. <laughs> so guys, I will see you at the hotel. So it was quite the interesting airport experience. Um, when the plane landed, the captain asked for everybody to stay in their seats. Well, I disembarked from the airplane because I was a potential uh, COVID hazard and that they wanted to take precautions to do the final seven days of quarantine. And now we're currently on our way in the foreign affairs vehicle to the hotel in Chongqing. Okay, thank you. Well, we're here in Chongqing and well, it's nice to see a nice room upgrade. And this hotel again is blocked off uh, isolated they spray the bags they spray pretty much everything but they they look at the person as a potential threat until they're 21 days of quarantine plus seven days 
uh, I believe it's called your health monitoring. And once that's done, then I get my green code. That means that I can pretty much go pretty much anywhere in China here. So I've got another couple weeks to go. <laughs> so that's why we're, uh, we got the 28 days. It's intense, but that's why there are hardly any cases. Here's my view for the next week. Uh, like I said, I'm not here for the views. I can't imagine anyone in the West understanding what's going on here. It's impossible to explain the seriousness of this. Anyway, hopefully I do that throughout these videos and uh, we'll talk soon. Just got a knock on the door. It's really early. the test yesterday. I don't know, it could be this. I wasn't expecting this. That looks like some yogurt and some fresh fruit. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, this is the new hotel I'm in in Chongqing. So I've set up my desk here. This is a nice little package that arrived. Looks like a pear. I've got some nice yogurt. And this, I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure <laughs> how to really describe what that is. Let me try one more time. I still can't grasp what it tastes like because I've never had anything. It, it's a bit sweet. I don't. I can't really describe what that tastes like for a snack. They delivered my breakfast at about 7:30. I decided to try the food option in this hotel. It looks like we got a bit of porridge. We'll call that. Oh, look at this little vegetable, probably spicy because we're in Chongqing, right? You gotta remember that. So, uh, all right, <laughs> here we go. The classic egg. Look at that little egg goes in there. Oh, isn't that cute? Some corn. This is kind of like processed ham, some vegetables. And usually they had a, a bread muffin in here. I already ate that. Not bad, but uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna opt to try to uh, do what we did in Shanghai. Uh, the hotel's a little bit more flexible here on what kind of food I can get in the doors. So we're gonna give that a shot. Selection of 25 online stores. So let's see what we can get up to. And I've also ordered some of those little um, items that we had that had a little cooker inside it. I've ordered some of those, so stick around. We got a great unboxing and a taste test coming up. So similar to what Shanghai did, this is the Chongqing Hotel. No plastic benches or little things to put on the food this time. Looks like we've gone a bit upscale with the oak tables. Okay, so we'll wait for our first delivery here. Looks like my delivery has come. Let's have a look at what we got here. Wow, lots of fruit on this one. We just got a delivery, yippee. Here we go. My friend ordered from Lawson and uh, I like them because they got a lot of fresh juices there. We got a lot of fresh vegetables. So so I had a lot of questions from people who were coming to China or about to come to China about the quarantine and the food. If you don't like the food, you can opt out of it. And some hotels allow full deliveries from restaurants, KFC or whatever, or pizzas. The hotel's great. Uh, the food is a little bit better here, but I opted out of it once again because the seafood issue. I've just done an order online and uh, we got some some apples, uh, some little buns. That'll be cool to try. It took about one hour to get this delivered. So, oh, these are some interesting fruits. I've never tried these. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. Some grapes, bananas. Gotta love those. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll try that together, okay? Oh, this is kind of like a, I'm not sure if that's seafood or not. So that looks like a sandwich. It, uh, some fresh bread, love that. Some more apples, fantastic. What is this? Oh, pure milk, okay. I've never seen milk delivered actually in a box like this. This is a German brand. 12 separate little miniature uh, boxes there. Mango blended juice. NFC, I really like this stuff. It's it's very good. I've, I tried that when I was in Shanghai. Ah, cool. All right, so. Sandwich meat is allowed here. It made it into the, the hotel. Great, okay. Another friend, uh, he ordered from Lawson. So he's a really cool friend of mine. We all remember this one from the first video, right? Because we loved it. I got so many responses from people. People are in China like, yeah, 
they're, they've been here forever and people in North America, Canada, United Kingdom are like, what? Where can we get those? <laughs> We'd love to have those. We're gonna do another unboxing. This is a whole new one. This is another beef and noodle meal with kind of like a temporary burner on the bottom. You know what's amazing about these things? Is the price. The price on this one was, I think $2.60 US. That's it. Lost in fresh bread. Okay. My friends are really starting to know what I like for juices and stuff. This is apple and banana. All right, and these are very affordable. I mean, these would cost me a fortune in Canada to get that. Oh, sandwich did get in. So what have we got for a sandwich? Chicken vegetable sandwich. All right, well done, mate. <laughs> got in there. Uh, don't know what that is. It looks to me that that could be possibly, I don't know what the hell that is. Could that be chicken? More of these little guys. Ah, uh, some chocolate milk. Well, there you go. That's gonna last me a while. Uh, if you're the viewers, Tell me what that is. I believe it's chicken with uh, spices. I could be wrong. All right, I'm looking forward to unboxing that uh, meal here and we'll do that tonight. So with the kit, it comes with chopsticks and a spoon. Yes, I do know how to use chopsticks. But these are really small though. These wow, look at all this. Woohoo! Let's just smell that and it's cooked perfect. There's, there's some corn. Look at the size of these chopsticks. You have to be a real pro at using these chopsticks. But hey, look at that, I can do it. Spicy, but fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're gonna find some meat in here as well. Wow, this is beautiful. I can't believe how great this tastes. and they brought me one. <laughs> what a nice little surprise. So I had a friend send me some snacks. Um, I've never seen these before, but uh, let's have a look at what these are. Well, <laughs> you ever get that warning sign, some contents may settle? Well, look at that, huh? Half of that is empty. They're kind of like a tomato french fry, but uh, yeah, they don't look very inviting, but let's try them anyway. I'm gonna move on from these. So when you check into these quarantine hotels, they give you an interpreter if you don't understand Chinese language. I can't have seafood, uh, I need this brought to the room, if, is that possible? Now Victor has been awesome. I said to Victor, need a refrigerator. Done sir. <laughs> His English is spectacular, okay? I've never met him in person yet and I'm about to for the first time. I've talked to him for over a week on my WeChat application. Uh, I've had two COVID tests, the last one was very painful, and a blood test uh, yesterday. So I'm being released here in a few hours. Wow, 21 days, we're getting out there in Chongqing, it's about time. Okay, talk soon.